just so you know, I'm not associated with vbates.com in any way other than Christian friendship, and I do not make money at all by promoting the original books they have to offer. I promote these books because unlike the Seventh-day Adventist Church and its affiliates that have been editing the Spirit of Prophecy writings to hide their apostasy, vbates.com has the original writings intact so as to allow the people of God all the info they need along with the Word of God to be prepared for what's already begun in these last days as well as to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Both Scripture and Spirit of Prophecy confirm the Seventh-day Adventist Church would fall off the path to join Rome in their apostasy, and the remnant of her seed would finish the work exactly as Jesus said they would. And because the leaders in the Seventh-day Adventist Church know this, they not only lie repeatedly by twisting Scripture and Spirit of Prophecy to claim to be the remnant church to keep the people in the pews, they lie about those that were used of God in their infancy so as to hide their long prophesied agenda for these last days. Yes, we all know about how they rewrote Ellen White's writings to make her look like everything from a false prophet to a plagiarist, and many millions have fallen for their lies. But what most Seventh-day Adventists do not know about is what's called the Kellogg file. It is a word-for-word transcription of a deposition wherein John Harvey Kellogg was raked over the coals by the Seventh-day Adventist Church leaders in his day. The SDA Church hid all that's in the file for quite some time, knowing if the Seventh-day Adventist people got a hold of it, they would see the truth about Dr. Kellogg and what he uncovers, and then they would leave the church in droves. This file is no longer hidden and readily available at vbates.com. If your SDA and you read the unedited deposition that is transcribed in this book word for word, you will see how Vern Bates used documented sources to back up what's revealed in the Kellogg file. Once read, you will not only change your mind about Dr. Kellogg, you will have rock-hard evidence that the Seventh-day Adventist leaders not only lied about John Harvey Kellogg, they were doing all they could to sabotage the work of Sister White, which, by the way, Dr. Kellogg was doing all he could to protect it. You need to go to vbates.com and get this book before it goes out of stock. This book, which contains the entire deposition, confirms in writing that Dr. John Harvey Kellogg was in fact systematically slandered and attacked by the Seventh-day Adventist leaders so as to hide their growing apostasy and then long prophesied future plans for the Seventh-day Adventist church under the thumb of Rome as we see it today. And if and when your eyes are opened, you will see that the Seventh-day Adventist leaders of today have been echoing the same exact lies to this day so as to keep the pews filled while at the same time protect their lofty positions and financial rewards in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Thank you for watching. God bless. (laughs) 